um, Ashes of Edith Cruz. This is the burial transit to get. This is what she got laid out in the funeral home. And there's her picture. We got her picture, her death certificate. It's her picture. A bizarre Halloween story you're seeing only on Fox 5. A Maryland family purchased a casket online to add to their family's Halloween decorations. But when they got that casket, the family discovered personal items belonging to that deceased woman in it. Mm. Fox 5 Stephanie Ramirez in Baltimore tonight with this truly bizarre story. Hi, Steph. Marina and Jim, so this is the casket right here, the Baltimore family going forward with plans to use it for their Halloween party tonight, but not before the daughter of the family made that TikTok video that you're talking about there to try and help. Everyone was in shock and we didn't really know how to feel about it first. My first initial reaction was like, we got to find the family. We got to find whoever her next of kin is or somebody that knows her. So in a TikTok video posted recently, Brooke Wozniak explained some of the sensitive documents her family found taped inside of the casket. This includes a death certificate for 74-year-old Edith Cruz that also had her social security number on it. The hospital bracelet that she wore was also found, as well as a photo of her and an envelope possibly containing Edith's ashes. That's no longer the case, but Cruz's granddaughter saw this TikTok and showed her mom. Sabrina Jones told me today she was shocked. Her mother was a community pastor who died in January from COVID. And because of that, we're told that the family wasn't allowed to be by her side. And now they're upset having to relive this terrible experience all over again. Um, it doesn't ease the pain of her, you know, right. being gone. You know, she was my best friend. Right. Mm -hmm. Love my mom dearly. You know, I'm her only girl, so. Yeah. <laughs> right. You know, and I'm the one who took her to George Washington University yeah. and left oh her goodness. there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm grateful, yes, that you kept it, and we do have it back. Yeah, and that you know, I think you can God find out what's going yeah. on now. Find yeah. out, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Guys, we were with the family, Edith's children, as they met the Wozniak family to thank them and get their mom's documents back. We were also with them, but not allowed inside when they went to confront the owner of the funeral business. Edith's daughter tells me that they rented the casket through Freeman Funeral Services in Clinton, Maryland, and had their mother cremated after. The owner would not go on camera, but Sabrina Jones told me that the owner was empathetic to the family and did take responsibility for the document issue. She asked to give them until Thursday, or to give her until Thursday to further investigate. Now, that owner, Glenda Freeman, she told me that she had sent multiple caskets to a scrap metal business in the area to be destroyed. We've reached out to that business, uh, waiting to hear back, but there are serious privacy concerns that this family still has, and they want answers sooner than later. Guys, back to you.